you can see here is the start of the snow line. Uh, let's take a peek where we are here. Easier to see on the iPad. Okay, that's Illinois. That snow line seems to be at Keokuk Airport, where we're just about over. And we got about an hour to go. And our point. Romeo Juliet, we've got a bearing of 022, 51 nautical miles to go. That gives us 20 minutes with 57 gallons remaining. We have plenty of fuel for the whole trip. Ground speed is right now currently 154 knots, roughly 170-ish. Universal time is 2344, that matches 2345, just off by about four seconds. Engine's looking good, we're at 2,500 RPMs, burning 13 gallons an hour, use 20 on this trip, we'll have 60 gallons remaining. Power setting is at 50, 58%, Cross gas temps look good, cylinder head temps look good. Over here, to the checklist. Go down to set up the next checklist before landing. It'll be seatbelts, fuel pump, mixture, flapper. Okay, Only six Chicago Center. Final maintain one three thousand. That will be the final today. The I Sky Top Limiter is three zero one eight. Have my warning to switch tanks. Turn the boost pump on. Switch over to the right tank. And uh, to current one eighty six. You want to right Capitol? You want to stay over uh, Randall and I Sky? Boost pump back off. Clear the warning. Current one eighty six. Direct the Appleton uh, Airport. November 78, Echo Echo, descend to pilot's discretion, maintain uh, 4,000. Discretion down to 4,000, 8 Echo Echo. At constant speed, prop. The power still remains the same at around 2,500 RPMs, even though we pulled back the manifold pressure. We've just, the, just adjusted the pitch of the prop with that power reduction. We have 800 feet a minute. Descent rate set here. And we're very close to that on the autopilot, 820 feet per minute. So we are at altitude with vertical speed mode, meaning that it is taking the vertical speed from here and adjusting accordingly, and this shows what our actual descent rate is, which is 800 feet per minute. So it's matching identical right now. Hi guys, you're probably wondering how this flight ended. It's a terrible, fiery accident. No, it actually wasn't. Actually went very well. Landing went just fine. Um, having some equipment issues. Uh, the camera's in the dark. I haven't quite figured out the lighting on that yet. So, as you see uh, by the end here, it's pretty dark and I'm trying to change some light settings to see if we can get that enhanced a little bit. But until I figured that out, I just didn't figure it was worth putting in any clips of the landing because it's just black. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, again, I'll fix the lighting issues at night for night flights and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks guys.